do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round poles at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round poles at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space. You can find a lot of things out here, like planets that are made mostly of rock, and planets that are mostly liquid and gas. I wish I could find a planet that's mostly chocolate. By this time tomorrow, you can chalk up another win for the old Zetermeister. What makes you so sure you're going to win again? Because when it comes to hide and seek, I'm the best. And since I'm it this year, it'll be a cinch. Ah, <laughs> don't be so sure. You may be good at hiding, but we'll see how good you are at seeking. I've got a new plan that's foolproof. Are you three teaming up again? Nah, we're not going to play. Everybody plays. What's the use? Every year, Zeter wins, and we're always the first ones to get tagged out. Ah. Yeah, we never find any good hiding places. Don't give up. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Maybe this is the year you'll do better. Maybe even beat Zeter. Bula's got a point. When I first competed, I wasn't very good, but I kept trying, and now I know great hiding places all over the solar system on every planet. Except for on Jupiter, of course. Why not Jupiter? No one's ever hidden there. Ah. So, how can I help you? Oh, uh, we were just wondering about planets. Like, for instance, say... Jupiter! What's Jupiter like? <laughs> Jupiter's a fascinating planet. There's an entire chapter on it in the Multopedia. Jupiter is a very big planet in the solar system. It's so big that around 1,400 planets the size of Earth could easily fit into it. A planet that big must have lots of places to hide. And Jupiter has many moons, oodles and oodles of them. One of the most famous is called Io. Maybe it's so popular because it's so much fun to say. Io! Oh! From far away, Jupiter looks like it has stripes and a few spots. The biggest one is called the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot? Why? Because it's really big and red. It's more than twice as big as the entire planet Earth. And the weather in the Great Red Spot, in fact, the weather all over Jupiter, is very different from Earth's weather. Thanks, Molto. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, well, <laughs> you're welcome. My, they're in such a hurry. Jupiter sounds like the perfect place to hide. But remember what Molto said. The weather on Jupiter is different than on Earth. I wonder how it's different. We'll find out when we get there. But just in case, let's bring an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Welcome, contestants, to the interplanetary hide-and-seek game. This is your play-by-play -play announcer speaking, and what a game this is going to be! Returning champion Zeta will be it! <laughs> and you know the rules. Hiders have to stay inside the solar system and try to tag the tree before Zeta tags you! Ready to lose again, Zoo Lemons? No, we've got a great hiding place picked out, and it's... it's a secret. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go!
Look at all the volcanoes on Io! Cool! But maybe we ought to hide on Jupiter. These volcanoes look a little dangerous. <laughs> How'd you know it was me? The old wearer disguise and act like you're not hiding trick. Been there, done that. Better luck next year. <laughs> the game has just started, and Zeta has already made her first tag. At least Wizzy, Wig, and Gorga weren't tagged first again this year. Wonder where they're hiding. It sure is windy here today. You see any place to hide? Not yet. I'm gonna keep a record of where we go, so we'll know great hiding places for next year. Howdy, neighbor. Wanna wrestle? No, thank you. We're just... <gasps> <gasps> Let's play again! <gasps> <laughs> My stars! This is the most exciting hide-and-seek game I've seen in quite a while! Zeta makes another tag! No, me. in the game, with the wig and Gorga. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> but where could they be? Jupiter. Nah, no way. Welcome to the great red spot. You came to see how I blow winds over 400 miles per hour? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of room to play. We know. You're more than twice as big as Earth. And my storms are greater than anything on that planet. <sighs> Let's get out of here! We can't! The wind's too strong! We have to find a place to land! A place to land? Right over here, pal. Best spot in all of Jupiter! Oh my 
nice jaws, Wizzy and Wig are ahead, but Vita's moving in, they're almost home, Vita's trying to tag them, it's going to be close, oh, I can't walk, <laughs> come on Wizzy, You three must have found a great place to hide. Yes, Jupiter was a great place to hide. But everywhere we went on Jupiter, it was all stormy, and there was nowhere to land on the surface. Just lots of gas and then liquid. <laughs> That's Jupiter, all right. That's why no one ever hides there. Next year, we're going to hide someplace else. Like Hawaii! <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I go and next year, I'm going to play the game, too. I wonder what the weather is like on Venus. Welcome to our Molto Moment! Are you ready to talk about Jupiter and the Great Red Spot? Um, Testy, what are you doing? I'm going to help clean up the Great Red Spot. Testy, the Great Red Spot is on the planet Jupiter, and it's 24,000 miles wide! Uh-oh! I better get a bigger towel! <laughs> the Great Red Spot isn't a stain. It's a storm on Jupiter that's been going on for a long, long time. Now, can you tell me what makes Jupiter different from Earth? Uh, it's made of peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> no, Jupiter is a different kind of planet than Earth. Earth is made of some metal, but mostly rock. That's why there's lots of land for people to stand on, while Jupiter is a huge ball made of mostly liquid and gas. And you can't stand on liquid and gas, can you? Well, I never have. Until next time, bye bye <laughs>